Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to The Pews, the one-stop shop for all Tarkov-related news and community highlights, so let's crack straight into it. So in previous episodes, I haven't really put too much emphasis on the news, and now I actually do want to do it. I, I feel like I've kind of skipped it in the past, and I want to cover the points more often. So let's begin with some of the news coming out of Battlestate games. First up, they're going to remove all press editions from the game. Now, there's not a lot of people that actually have these. I know Clean used to, or, or does, I think he removed his own. Uh, like Summit had one, Shroud, there's not a lot of people out there that have them. However, they're going to be removing these and everyone will be going back to an Edge of Darkness version. They are going to start releasing uh, promo codes for certain items in the game that are going to be like special edition. I don't know exactly how this is going to work. However, there won't be a, a definite gap between Edge of Darkness and Press Editions. Press Editions, in the past, they had an even bigger stash than Edge of Darkness, but they came with pretty much all the best gear in the game. And not just one or two, they had plenty of it giving them a, a clear head start for anyone that had that uh, account. So next week, there's going to be another Talking Tarkov, number six. Uh, don't know who the guest speakers are yet, but it's going to be uh, the usual time. However, for Australians, if you guys are out in there in Australia, 4.30 a.m., 12 PST for the Americans, and uh, obviously late at night for the uh, Russians. Now, BSG's come out and stated a little bit more information to do with the, the next patch, 10.5. I'm going to call the, all the patches from now on not .0, oh, sorry, 0 0.10.5. I'm just going to call them 10.5, 11, etc. It's getting too, too many numbers to repeat. So with 10.5, it's going to be a partial wipe, most likely. Who knows what this means? Uh, trader rep, passives, stash. We don't know yet. As soon as I know, I'll make sure it's out there. I do plan to talk more in depth about the wipe in a future video, uh, but... For now, it's just going to be a partial wipe, and it should be in the next two to three weeks. We've also seen our first bit of footage here of uh, the new offline mode they're having. They're going to have settings you can change on the offline mode, uh, being the AI difficulty, the scav boss, uh, if they're going to have the scav boss in there, and all that kind of stuff. Awesome stuff. This needs to be in the game. But what I would also like to see is an offline mode, or a, say a offline mode where you can invite someone, so it's just pretty much a two-person mode with no repercussions of lost gear, and then you can actually test stuff within the game. I'm hoping this comes in the future. Lastly, BSG's actually started up their own uh, YouTube channel or homepage, which automatically generates a heap of YouTube content from lots of streamers. I'm big on promoting the community. Definitely go check that one out. Um, you'll be able to find plenty of uh, my videos as well as other people's videos from the Tarkov community, and you'll be able to find all the information you'd like to know. So that's it for the news. Let's crack into some highlights. This week, we've got a handful of uh, streamers' clips that uh, for you guys to be able to see. I'm also going to be interviewing Dotty Hack after all these clips. He was one that was most voted from the previous week. So guys, after you watch these clips, go down to the straw poll link below. Vote for your favorite streamer out of the list. And then next week, I'll be uh, streaming him for the pews. So guys, without further ado, let's crack into some highlights. A roll clips. Someone clip that, please. Did I jump? No, it's right here. All right. All right, we're going to break our legs, but f*** it. Oof! <sighs> break, broken, and black. Oh. Holy shit, dude. <gasps> I jumped off the roof into a motherfucking two-man, killed one, and the other one got me. Damn. Holy shit. Straight down there. I killed three. I killed three guys that were doing this once. <laughs> you look so funny, man, <laughs> dude. You look so funny. You're like, <laughs> your uh, your gun was coming out of your ass, man. Why? I don't know. Let me let me try and show you. 
So let up your stream. Hang on. There you go. Is my guy doing it? Ah, uh, they're mods. Can we make a play, boys? Come on. Surprise! Oh! Oh! Fucker. <laughs> Bitches down. He's hacking, dude. 100%, man. What? Yeah. That guy should be dead. But leave it to Tarkov. He's still alive and he's gonna... I was literally going to f***ing say, leave it to Tarkov. All right, guys, this week's interview is with Dotty Hack. He's got the best hair on Twitch. He's a really cool dude, another musician, just like Veritas Games. So let's crack into the interview. All right, interview. All right, guys, we've got here Dotty Hack, uh, Escape for Tarkov streamer from the United States of America. Uh, cool as fuck, dude. Guys, uh, I won't introduce him. I'll let him do that. Go for it, man. Cool, guys. My name is Dottie Hack. I live in the United States down in Florida. Uh, I'm a big gamer, a uh, big metalhead. Uh, I've played in a band and toured across the United States for a few years. Um, recently been getting into streaming and whatnot, just having a bit of fun with it. Yeah, that's cool. So what got you into uh, the streaming, man? Well, a few years ago, I saw a couple people like Summit and whatnot doing it, and it just seemed like a lot of fun. And I was a, I'm like a long-term veteran Counter-Strike player been playing since like 1.5 back in the day before steam was even created and i like to stream a lot of like the matches that i was playing uh so on and so forth and a lot i just thought it was really fun to be competitive like that and kind of showcase some of those skills did you um play csgo oh yeah absolutely i think i have like 5400 hours wow. on counter-strike go no shame i mean a lot of them are like idle because i leave my game on overnight but I've played a lot of seasons of CSGO on ESEA and whatnot. And Everyone's going to want to know, level. What, what rank did you get? Uh, before they changed the matchmaking system, I was about LEM to Supreme. Yeah. Um, and one of my former teammates that I used to play with, Flom, uh, is now like a semi-pro CS player. So it's it's been pretty cool. I've had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, I was I was always sitting around the um, LEM Supreme area. And then um, mm -hmm. when they did the change, it dropped. like Because yeah, that was the medium was like... Uh, uh, MG2 or something. That was about where the average player yeah. was sitting. Um, so I sit around MG2 now, I think. MG. Yeah. If, I, same, if I play same. a lot. Yeah, same for me. And I don't really play CSGO nearly as much as I play as, yeah, EFT now. Yeah. So what got you into EFT? Uh, my friend, Matt, who I've always played games with, introduced me to EFT. And right off the bat, I love the mechanic. I love, like, the no HUD system, no teammate identifications, the... Uh, the, I guess the injury to each, you know, body part and limb and the gun mechanics and the gunplay are just unmatched. There's no other game that has like that kind of modification system and that kind of like satisfaction from actually firing a weapon within a game. Yeah, I totally agree on that. I found when I started playing AFT, it was just overwhelmingly, oh my God, like, look at this, look at this. How does this work? It was like, wow. Uh, I was hooked straight off the bat as well. It's It's one of those cool games, hey. 
Yeah, he was, uh, so he had been playing, I guess, since the alpha. And when I first started playing, like, this was back when Shoreline was still cut in half. Uh, I think it was around 0.7 when I started playing. Right around the time they introduced the Jack-O-Lantern Cold Packs last year yeah. was when I started playing. So I literally would just hug the wall of Shoreline to go to the the, the Scab Bunker before they introduced the resort and whatnot. And that would be like the route that we would take because it was just it was so crazy and you couldn't see anything. You never knew where you're getting shot from. It was a lot of fun. And since I picked it up a year ago, like that's all I've really been playing. Yeah, I, I really find it difficult to play the games now with that. Uh... Any, any first person shooter it's more of just a having some fun messing about with mates never really getting seriously into one but people yeah i I, okay. I guess like i've kind of earned the reputation of like glock daddy now so everybody that like comes into my twitch channel just feeds me magnets and drills and i, I literally have collected like 40 glock spartans with ospreys now at this point that's awesome <laughs> so what's with the hair then um so this goes back to like my csgo days um a lot of guys you know we'd, we'd been mates for a long time we'd played together a few seasons and ever you know how it is between your buddies you always like take shots at one another so everyone always used to take shots at me because of the hair because you know being in a metal band and the hair flipping all over the place like that's the thing so they'd always tease me about the hair and whatnot and then one day i was just like you know i'll just try and run with it on twitch and just see what happens and the joke kind of turned into like a, an actual a thing that I use as a part of my stream now. Um, and, I, you know, I used to get trolled when I was first starting off on Twitch and whatnot. But now it's actually kind of become like a cool thing that people are like, hey, this is the guy with the hair on Twitch. And it's just it's kind of floating around. So I'm just I'm just rolling with it. It seems like it's a lot of fun. <laughs> How long have you been growing it for? Um, I want to say... I cut my hair in like 2014 and then I, I grew it back out and I've just trimmed it ever since. So like, you know, I'll take, I'll take a little bit off here and there, kind of fluff it back up, make sure it looks good. I, I need to recut it again right now, but um, you know, it takes me about a year and a half to two years to really grow it out to like mid shoulder length think down, down to like, yeah, like center chest. But um, you know, it takes a good while. I've had my days since it's so hot and humid here in Florida um, where I just wanted to cut it off because uh, it's just too much to deal with. And I serve in a restaurant, too, so I have to bun it up um, when I uh, when I go to work and whatnot. So it can be quite a hassle and pretty messy. I don't think anyone <laughs> would recognize you without the hair. Oh, yeah. I've gone into work and when my hair's down because my hair's always up there. And they're like, who are you? I'm like, uh, I served here. I've been working here for like five months now, guys. I'm Dirty Hack. All right. <laughs> so, I'm a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have that like tattooed on my part of it's like tattooed on my knuckles too. So, so. where did your name come from then? Uh, there was an anime uh, dot hack sign that I used to watch. I used to watch like Cowboy Bebop, yep. uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, Big O, Ghost in the Shell, DBZ, etc. And that was one of the animes that I tied to. And that was kind of like my first alias that I took with me into the online gaming community. Um, it started off as dot hack and then everyone just gave me the nickname Dottie and, uh, I just, I just went with it and it just became like a personal identification piece for me. Um, so I, I eventually got it tattooed on my body. I have a bunch of tattoos from things that, you know, like are commemorative pieces. Um, and I eventually I'm going to get Dottie tattooed on me somewhere. That might be a stream thing. <laughs> and, uh, just, I just gotta, I just gotta figure out what and where, you know, <laughs> things where i just wake up one day and like let's tattoo it on my ass let's do something <laughs> crazy you know <laughs> go for it so <laughs> i talk about having fun anyway so whatever you enjoy right yeah I'm, i have plans to do tattoos like throughout the rest of my body but it's it's expensive and i moved re I, I moved to florida about a year ago so um i don't have like an artist down here that i really know and trust so i've been kind of hesitant about getting more tattoos do you um still play with the band yeah uh so right now we're kind of just like writing new music uh most of the people in my chat and my community um like the band and so on and so forth my roommate who also streams a little bit on twitch uh i've been teaching him a little bit he's the bass player in my band and we'll go out to shows and whatnot so right now it's kind of like we're still writing a new album and seeing where things go from here what's on. what's your band name uh we're called phantoms but we changed our singer, so we're going to be rebranding our band. It's going to be something completely different here in the next few few months. I think we're going to go to the studio down in Tampa, Florida, 
uh, probably in the next month or so when we finish up. We're doing some pre-production stuff um, on stream. I do a lot of drum covers. So um, behind me, I'll have my drum set set up. I'll pick up my whole band and move it. And uh, I'll play drum covers from like rock and metal bands um, that I, I, I enjoy and listen to. And the people in my chat like to listen to. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool. That's a big part of like my stream interactivity that I like to include with everybody. That's awesome. Um, you you toured with Warp Tour, didn't you? Yeah, I've uh, I didn't do the whole tour. Um, my friends worked on it for production, and my bands played a few dates in between. So we played in like uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, and our hometown, which is in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, which was a lot of fun. I mean. I've played shows in front of three people before, and I think that show we might have had 1,500 people watching us, and that was like the most exciting thing I think I've ever done in my uh, musical career. And you know, it, it's war to work. It's pretty crazy. There's a lot of people there, and we were kind of like the hometown guys, so everybody came out and supported us, which is really cool. That's awesome. All right, man. Um, how about we crack into this mad minute? All right. All right. Um, this is the part I was nervous about. <laughs> All right, I'll try my best to speak clearly because I've been commented in the past that I'm Australian and I don't speak right. So, because <clears throat> oh, we use Australian English, not other English. Gotcha. All right, you ready to go, man? I'm all set. All right. And the timer starts now. What's your favorite fruit? Uh, apples. Least favorite map in Tarkov? Uh, factory. How old are you? 28. Best gun in EFT? Uh, the Glock 17. <laughs> Longest time you've been awake? Uh, 36 hours. What's the worst gun in EFT? Mm, Saga 9. Uh, favorite sport? Uh, hockey. Uh, most water breaks in a stream? 10. <laughs> Longest stream? Uh, 16 hours. Uh, iPhone or Samsung? iPhone. Biggest host uh, you've received? Uh, you with about a thousand. <laughs> uh, what time do you get up in the morning? Uh, twelve thirty in the afternoon. So most PMC kills you've got in a raid. Nine. Um, uh, cowboy hat or cowboy helmet? Uh, cowboy hat. Uh, bear or Usec? Uh, Usec time. All right, dude. Thank you very much for that. Uh, do you have anyone you want want to shout out to or thank or? Um, yeah, I want to thank all the mods in my chat, Dylan, uh, Emu, um, Forecast, Richie, Peter, all the guys that have been in my chat that have been like extremely helpful, help my channel grow and just having a fun time each night that we go on stream. Uh, and guys like yourself for putting on cool ass things for the community and um, just uh, getting to have a lot of fun while streaming and playing uh, some EFT. Awesome, man. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. And uh yeah, hopefully I'll have this out in the next uh, 12 hours. Awesome. Right. Hell yeah, dude. So thanks, Study Hack, again for the interview. Guys, please go down to the links below. Give him a follow over on Twitch and his Twitter. He's super cool, and he's uh, just he's got really good uh, gameplay as well. So go pop over there and say good day. So guys, that's it for another episode of The Pews. Be sure to go down to the link below uh, and vote for your favorite streamer for next week. Guys, if you want your clips out of The Pews, go down to my Discord, message Mr. Woodyo. He's the one that uh, will... Get all the video clips into the actual pews itself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. See you on Twitch six days a week. Go down to the link below. Give me a follow over there. And lastly, I'll see you next time. Content. I stream on Twitch six days a week. A wink. Six days. <laughs>